Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, when Raila was releasing that uh, the Gulf oil deal at Dozia, Kenyans could not help but to notice that some of the co-principals were not there, especially Kalonzo Musyoka and Martha Karua. Martha Karua was very conspicuous because she held a parallel, what may be called a parallel press briefing. And they almost talked the same issues because Raila was saying that the, 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 the VAT on fuel must be reduced from 16% to 8%. And Martha Karua also said the same thing. Raila Mondringa talked about reduction of the cost of living and Martha Karua also said the same thing. And Martha Karua said something that many people are still discussing. While Raila holds the view that uh, people should not go back to the street as yet. And of course this has been the sentiments of most of the Azimir followers. That Raila must sit back so that people can feel the pain of the, of the choices of, that they make during elections. But Martha Karua said that people will go back to the streets should the talks fail. And while Raila has some faith and hope that maybe the talks, at least that is what is presenting at the face value, that the talks will yield something good, Martha Karua made it very clear that she can see the talks failing. We want to find services when we go to the hospitals. We also are saying the cost of fuel, which is pushing the cost of living upwards. We want the additional tax of 8% removed yeah. with the yeah. military yeah. effect. <laughs> that will help the cost of fuel stabilize. Currently, the taxes in Kenya are feeding corruption, not services. Yes. And we must fight corruption, which has doubled in this regime. I don't even think it has doubled, it has troubled. You had the, the um, controller of budget recounting that we are paying for loans which we cannot ascertain what service they give. So corruption has gone to new levels and that's why we are saying let's adhere to the rule of law. As uh, I want to address Kenyans as well. What can we do about this? As the people with sovereignty, you are the ones who elect leaders, or we are the ones who elect leaders. Last elections, those who know they are not eligible under Chapter 6 did not want to hear the word track record or history. I just want to remind us, even when you are employing a milkman, just a person to milk your cow, you would not dare employ somebody who stole just a bottle of milk from your neighbor, milked the bulk of the milk in a bucket and gave to the employer, but stole only one bottle. Yes. You will chase them. Yes. But in management of public affairs, we are employing people whose track record is well known. Yes. Corruption, land grabbing. Yes. We are giving a blank check. The suffering today, we must ask ourselves, when did the rain start beating us? And we must be prepared to renew leadership in Kenya. Because if we do not go back to value-driven leadership, the suffering we are ex uh, experiencing can only go higher than it is. And uh, finally, we have already talked the co about the cost of living. It's just to remind us, sovereignty belongs to the people. Through killings during demonstrations. Yes. As NAC Kenya and as people of Kenya, yes. we are saying, should the talks fail as they are looking, they are failing. Yes. We shall not forgo our rights. We shall go back yes. to the streets if necessary. Yes. We are going to exercise our civil, political, and human rights to the fullest. Yes. We are saying. 
We are saying no to intimidation and we are calling upon Kenyans to join and hold hands so that we restore sanity in our nation. In conclusion, we remain part of the Azimio coalition, but even with the larger clan with Azimio, their houses. This is the house of NAC Kenya. Yes. So NAC Kenya has to prepare to strengthen itself to be ready for the next general elections. Let there be as many candidates within us. In this video, I want us to try and look at the intention of Martha Karua, why she should decide to hold a parallel press briefing. Now, if you look at uh, the code of dress, Martha Karua had the, 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 the NAC Kenya caps, Isokofia, meaning that uh, she wanted to portray or showcase that this was a NAC Kenya affair. And of course, she even explained it there. She has always maintained that there comes a time when you go back to your party, away from your coalition, NAC Kenya, WIPA, ODM, Jubilee, so that you talk about your in-house, you know, issues. Then at some point, they are joining together as Kamwene, mostly the leadership from Mount Kenya, when they want to talk about issues that pertain to Mount Kenya. And then they also come together as Azimio when they now want to talk about issues that pertain the whole country. So Martha Karawa seems to be looking forward to strengthening her party. You know, every party, all every party today, is trying to to to, to strengthen its, its its membership registration and recruitment. ODM is doing it in Nyanza. William Ruto is doing it. In fact, uh, UDA has planned for grassroots elections by 9th December. Whether it will happen is something that we, we wait and see. So. Jubilee also had said that they are getting ready to for registration and strengthening of the party. So Mata Karua understands very well that even as much as you are in a coalition, coalitions are built by strong affiliate parties. And so she's getting ready to strengthen her party. Otherwise, Unaiza Potea, and I think it is a good thing for Martha Karua to strengthen her party. This is not like the Kenya Kwanzaa where the party leader wants them to fold and form one formidable party. In Azimio, they want to strengthen each and every party so that when they meet together, they meet as stronger parties, you know, getting together on common ground. That is number one. Number two, Martha Karua is trying to test her strength and ex acceptability away from Raila Bolodinga. Many a times people have said that some of these leaders will always hang and to Raila's court. That when Raila is not there, maybe they cannot go for demonstrations. When Raila is not there, there are certain things that cannot happen. And I think Martha Karua is trying to test what is here. Raila is saying that there is no need of going for demonstrations. Martha is saying we must go for demonstrations because this is the only language that the government understands. If you look, if you've been studying Martha Karua, she was not of the idea for the Bomas dialogue because Martha Karua believes that this was a waste of time. So this time around, she wants to see whether people accept her call for demonstrations. She wants to see how people accept her message when she's away from Raila Muludiga. Sometimes I think this is right so that people don't just see you as someone who is hanging in, 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 in Raila's court. You have, you have to chart your own path so that even as you come and meet us as a meal, you are a strong individual, you are a strong party. To me, that is good because I've also seen Kalozo. The other day Kalozo was in Western and uh, he was kind of campaigning, but I saw her accompanied by several Raila allies. So, Martha Karo is charting her own way forward and I think it is a good thing. Martha Karo is also getting ready for a battle within the Azimio fraternity. 
because they had an arrangement last 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 general election that is in 2022 but it is not guaranteed that that is the formula that will be used Raila picked or nominated her as a running mate but she's not very sure that they will automatically pick her as a running mate that's the same thing that I understand is bedeviling even Kenya, Kenya Kwanza. Regini Gashago is not sure whether he will be picked as a running mate in 2027. There has been undertones that maybe Rige, um, Musalam Davadi will be picked or Kithura Kendiki or Ndindi Nyora. And Regadi is fiercely battling it out to ensure that he re retains his seat. So for Martha Karua to endear herself or to be attractive as a running mate, as, as a formidable force, she needs to chart her way forward. She needs to show Kenyans that she can do it alone. Of course, we know that Martha Karua is strong. She has earned the name Iron Lady. And whatever is doing is to ensure that when they finally sit down, because I know what will happen in Azimio, they will have to sit down and look at uh, several aspects acceptability how famous you are within the country the the, the 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 pocket power that is if you want to become a president or a deputy president and 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 followers that you have because i know there will be certain conditions that what are you bringing if for example i pick you as a running mate or if we decide to support you as a presidential flag bearer what do you bring on the table? We don't just want people who come and, and, and bank on us. You must tell us, this is what I have. So you add, we add our. So he's, she's trying to look into that battle that is uh, inevitable. It is coming. And there always such a very emotive. By trying to do things alone, she's also you know, trying to target any other coalition. Because towards 2027, towards an election, there are always realignments depending on interests. So she might even decide that she's not in a Zimio. And when she's not in a, a, a Zimio, wherever she's going, is she going as an asset? And to prove that you're an asset, you must strengthen your party, you must have followers. I also believe that she is getting ready to become an alternative voice in Central. They so much believe that Central, Mount Kenya, is tired of William Samuel Ruto. They also believe that Mount Kenya does not have a party if they depend on UDA. For those who depend on the UDA, they say UDA is a Red Valley party. And so what happens is, what are the alternatives? There are several people who have got parties. Martha Karo is there. We have uh, Peter, Peter Munya is also there. Those people have got their party. William Kabogo is there. So several of them might just decide to come together, especially with the Kamwene. So Mother Karua is also basically trying to become an alternative as a Mount Kenya campaign. And you can only do that when you tell your people that you are doing your things away from Raila Moludinga so that people don't just see you that as someone who is hanging, you know, just hanging there, cannot do anything without Raila Molodinga. It could also be an Azimio strategy to ensure that they campaign separately, to ensure that they confuse William Ruto. William Ruto will be kept guessing who will be the next flag bearer, what will be the formation, because one thing that they might not want to expose is to expose their formula, their plan, their arrangement, so that it's known that this will be the president, the deputy, and all that. And so they might have just decided, can also do it on your own, Martha Karua on your own, maybe Jeremiah Kion on your own, just like that, to ensure that by the time they are coming back, they are a formidable force that can 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 meet the Kenya Kwanza. And maybe Martha Karua is getting ready to move away from Azimio. That can also happen because I've realized that there are things that she's not happy about from the body language. The automatic pointer that uh, that Kaloza Musoka will be the running, running because that seems to be the talks. 
when Raila Mulu Dinga said that he will be ready to support Kalozo Musyoka, it, it seems Martha Karua did not like it. When Kalozo was appointed as the chair of the dialogue committee, Martha Karua complained uh, together with the Mount Kenya colleagues that Central was being neglected. So she might just decide to go it alone or to look for other alli alliances somewhere else and that is why she has started doing things on her own. Whichever the way it is, I support. She must do it alone even as they look to strengthen Azimio. And I like the fact that she said that they are still in Azimio. I don't know what you think, but I believe those could be the reasons why Mata Karua was absent in Azimio briefing.